a Bobby Johnson beat. Hey, word on the street, I'm a suspect. suspect. Hanging with the killers in the projects. Tato on the barrel, keep quiet. Catch a nigga slipping from behind. Boom. OG, Bobby, Johnson. Hey. OG, Bobby, Johnson. Ooh. OG, Bobby, Johnson. Johnson. OG, Bobby, Johnson. Hey. Wipe a nigga out like an outbreak. Wipe him out. Top of star bust and make the house shake. Fuck nigga sweeter than a pound cake. Your eyes on your chin, better watch what your mouth say. Watch it. Lean with the footballs, got a nigga tripping. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. Nigga keep sipping. Ooh. Dirty 8K with the beam on it. Dirty. Clip so long, I can lean on it. Long. Free my niggas like behind bars. Move a hundred pounds for a lawyer, beat the charge. Beat it. Pack tech down, run the ballet marshal fall. If a nigga try to rob, fuck it, hit him with the hook. Word on the street, I'm a suspect. suspect. Hanging with the killers in the projects. Tato on the barrel, keep quiet. Catch a nigga slipping from behind. OG Bobby Johnson. OG Bobby Johnson. OG Bobby Johnson. OG Bobby Johnson. Hundred bands on your head, get the job done. Now, throw it up, throw it up, nigga, where you from? Well, Whole hood hot, cause your nigga hitting licks. Lick. Ain't made a meal yet, but it's still nigga rich. rich. Stick em up, stick em up, stick em. Stick em up. How you want it, nigga? Out. Full of the semi. Looking for the cash. Bad. Searching for the bag. bag. Young nigga wild. Woo. Throwing up flags. Hey. Shooters on the roof with a scope. Money back on treat you like the Pope. Like Kimbe in the post. Nigga hit it with the folk. Word on the street, I'm a suspect. Hanging with the killers in the projects. Tato on the barrel, keep quiet. Catch a nigga slipping from behind. OG, Bobby, Johnson. OG, Bobby, Johnson. OG, Bobby, Johnson. OG, Bobby, Johnson. It's the niggas that you trust that'll probably turn fed. Hey, know your heart, cause you're rocking her man. Especially if your money long, guarantee it's her head. Ray Ray, tell it all, gotta watch the sermon head. Wanna know what you make? Whoa, grab me at hold. Do you like the wrist tape? Can't. Young nigga running with the cannon. With the cannon. With the... Never let a nigga see your panic. Never. Yo, boys in the hood working with the Hispanics. Ooh. On the phone with a plug, nigga speaking Spanish. Hey. Word on the street, I'm a suspect. suspect. Hanging with the killers in the projects. Tato on the barrel, keep quiet. Catch a nigga slipping from. Ooh. OG, Bobby, Johnson. Hey. OG, Bobby, Johnson. Ooh. OG, Bobby, Johnson. Hey guys, comedian King Kiar. You might know me from Funny People with Adam Sandler, Marmaduke with Owen Wilson, my newest movie, Teeth and Blood with Glenn Plummer, in theaters now. What's really good, Nick? For my mom, I'm gonna hit him, I'm gonna hit him, I'm gonna hit him. My hit him, my hit him, I'm gonna hit him, I'm hit him, I'm hit him. What's going on, y'all? It's your man, King Keto. We officially back. It is Saturday. We in the building. This is the Comedy Network radio show, you understand? With your tr truly blessed, gifted host, King Keto, and my partner in crime, <laughs> Mr. Tony Davis, in hey, the building. how you doing? What's up? Hey, Did y'all notice that me and King traded, traded places? Today, I'm wearing the shades, and he's King not. Keto. The only difference is that mine is um, Versace. So I'm going to take off these shades, these Versace shades, and give them to our host, Mr. King Kedar. Be feminine for a minute, King. Put them on. See how sexy you look. Hey, your damn Versace Come on. Shades. Hold on. Let me see him, Tony. Let me yeah. see him. Oh, he's going to wipe them off yeah. first, though. See, I got a sanitizer now? wipe. I it's the Saturday before Man, Mother's I Day. Know, I don't so. know where your eyes been set. Oh, I don't know where your eyes been I been haven't set. seen the things that I've seen. Hello, hello, hello. All hello. I know is about OG, Bobby, Josh. Uh -uh, he just moved my OG, microphone. Bobby, you know how I am. Josh. We're going to put this down. <laughs> it's the Saturday before Mother's Day. 
It's a Saturday before Mother's Day. It is the Saturday for Mother's Day. My mama name is Miss Peggy. Happy Mother's Day. I love you, mama. You are the best mama in the world. The best thing that I love about my mama is she raised five kids on her own. My daddy was trifling. I still love you, my nigga. But you was trifling because <laughs> you left my mama. You understand me with five kids. I was five years old. I had just got a brand new bike in Washington, D.C. One of those banana bikes. Y'all remember those banana yes, bikes with yes, the big thing yes, on the back? Yes, yes. I had one of them. It was off the chain. And then Didn't they call we moved that a sissy that, I don't know if it was a sissy bar, but I showed up with sissy and up the street on that motherfucker. Yes, I was. <laughs> but we left. Look, look, we left and moved to Detroit, and we had we had two hamsters called Tom and Jerry, and they both died on the on the road trip to Detroit. It was horrible. One <laughs> one got caught up inside the inside the uh, inside the vehicle in the back. We couldn't find him. Like two weeks after we got to Detroit, we found his body laying in the back decomposed. Oh, that's wrong. That's my well, mother's day story. Be, but, you know, hold on. I got to say this, though. I think you're a great father. And, I, you know, probably because your father was the way he was is probably the reason why you turned out to be such a good father. I mean, you have to find your blessings in all your tragedies, you know, except when, you know, except when someone steals your brand new Mercedes, which is what almost happened to me last week. Oh, but they tried to hijack you, too? Child. And the funny part is everyone who knows me <laughs> knows I, in, my, in my normal life when I'm home and doing nothing, I dress like a bum. And so, well, was, what are you dressed now? Grow up. Child, I'm all, everything OG, is looking Bobby good over here. But I'm, I'm, but I dress like you know, big clothes and sweats, and I look like I don't own a Mercedes. <laughs> and I'm down in the Skid Row area, and I'm walking towards there, and the guy has this little thing towards my key. I'm like, what are you doing? He said, I was just checking the car out. I went in my purse and pulled out, you know what. Did you just grab your chest muscle, money? What, this? Yeah. OD, Bobby, just. <laughs> anyway, um, say that and let him know that, you know, <laughs> it was opening season on his ass. <laughs> so anyway, you know, so I'm sorry about your dad, but you know what, though? You're a great father, King, so look at that. I know? appreciate that, Tony, and I honestly say to all the brothers out there that do have kids and you're not with the parents of the mother, you know what I'm saying? Stay focused. Take care of your child, because the child does need his dad Amen. because if you have a boy only a man can raise a son a woman can't she can raise a kid until he about 13 but after 14 and mamas you know this to be true after 14 your kid only see what's in front of him because he's growing his lower region area and he's not thinking about nothing but what's going on in his life that's right in front of him. So you got you to gotta bring in pops in that time. So you ladies that's out there that's all ghetto and ratchet and doing all that. Hey, you ain't going to see him until you give me some money. You need to grow up and kill yourself real talk and stay focused on the I'm kid sure and not your father. I'm sure there are more fathers who actually walk away from their he children said, than there are women who... up and... There are more fathers <laughs> who walk away from their children than I there said, are... Me. <laughs> women who actually keep their children away from the father. So, you know, with that being said, I'm going to say, we have a special guest who will be here soon, later Man, on. Man, we got a special guest in the building to be running their mouth in the background. He's been running his mouth in the background. That's why I <laughs> He's ready to get it loose. He ain't even been we introduced got, yet. He's been running his <laughs> yes, mouth out. Um, we got one of my partners in crime in the building. Actually, we did a movie a few years back, and it was blessed to come out. Uh, actually, it came out on the 31st. See, I'm pressed. I don't have as many credits as him, but when something do come out, I know exactly when the joke mm -hmm. dropped. So it dropped the 31st of 2014 and it's been on UMC Urban Movie uh, Urban Movie Channel Network. Uh, Amazon.com Target is doing pretty good and I honestly, I was a big fan of this brother and then I, you know, God has been so good to me in my career, I'm not going to lie. I've always Amen. been Amen. blessed to have the best of the best to come into my life and teach me, like the old saying, the teacher will come when the student is ready, and Amen. most definitely Amen. this was one of my first acting coaches that showed me how to make it do what it do, and then we went and got some broad. No, I'm just playing. Uh -uh. <laughs> this is the truth. Though. You know, I also was a big fan of this person whose name you have not said, you know and I really was Collins. a big, huge fan of him Collins. until he did Collins. two things. Collins. That, Collins. So he did two Collins. things that turned me off. He cut his hair, and then I realized he was shorter than me. Oh, when he had the dread joint? <laughs> Man, when he, had the he was dread fine joint. back in the day. Woo. I ain't going to say all that. That's my well, dog. You ain't That's got to. I will. Oh, Lord. Was Look, make him feel how some many, kind of way. <laughs> how many pillow dreams did I have when he was uh, He was master's way. Hey, well, but look Lord. here. We going to bring him in the building. He's officially in the building. He's in the house. I know everybody tuning in. If you ain't, go outside, find the highest building in your state or your city, and <laughs> kill yourself. I about that. OG Bobby Johnson. Y'all, y'all put your hands together for Glenn Blummer in the building. Woo! What's going on, Glenn? I don't see the third screen. What's up, Rock? 
What's up there? I'm What's up, there. OG Bobby Johnson? Let me look at Say it, y'all, OG Bobby Johnson. Say it, <laughs> OG Bobby Johnson. OG Bobby Johnson. Hey, oh, man. I can't. Hey, I just, hey, Rock, you ain't got no claps or nothing in there? <laughs> you just kind of lazy today, you my dog. You better leave Rock alone. Rock is my boy. Rock need to kill himself. We went to the uh, game <laughs> the other day, the, the fight party, and Rock oh. going in people's houses. Uh-uh. Rock, yeah. you oh, went you to put his that music fight party? <laughs> I said he turned the music up. Rock, you didn't come to my fight party. You said you was coming to my fight party. I am a nice man walking psycho. Look, Rock turned up the music on him. Like, go ahead with that, Shorty. That's all right. What's going on, Glenn Plummer? How you been, man? man. I'm living. I'm happy. I'm having a good time. I got a new spot. Oh, got a man. bed, some carpet. Honey, you always had a spot with some bed and some carpet in it. You just didn't want to come to it. Come on. You know, <laughs> hey, Tony, you going to quit sex playing my, my guest up in the, in, in the <laughs> That's studio, <what> man. <laughs> <laughs> you can't keep on sex playing my, my guest in the I don't sex play them. You <laughs> yes, know, I admire did. beautiful people, whether they're male, female, dog, or cat. So, I you know. I had the other day. Uh-oh. He cut his hair. I don't like it. He's mm. making that man feel like a He like, shoot. I'm, I, I saw since you cut your hair, you got like eight, like 10, 18 films. Roles. Oh. So he was like, um, that's the end of that. Yeah, Cut them things off. Yeah, so tell me, what's going on, Glenn Plummer? What, what, what's been going on, man? Uh, Talk to us. Man, I just been working. You okay. know, been working. Did some television. Mm-hmm. SBU. Yes, sir. Uh, Battle Creek. What, Scorpion. Just been doing some TV. A little bit of directing here and there. Got a film in post-production right now. Okay. Called Kalista House. All right. Then. Um, what's up? <clears throat> okay, we had our movie together, Teeth and Blood. Also, we have... Uh, uh, Rapper, actor uh, from uh, Jason Legs, Chef Sean. He will Sean. be in the building shortly. He All late right. just like black people. But we did a movie called Teeth and Blood. That's what y'all seen in the beginning of the movie yeah, where was, Lynn was, uh, Plummer played uh, a vampire. I finally got to do it. They let Eddie do it. You know, I figured I could do it. Oh, yeah, but it, ain't, it hasn't been too many vampire movies. How you feel about that? Man, I'm, man, I'm saying, you know what I mean? Sometimes we get to do things, you know. It don't mean a lot to everybody else, but... It has a significance in my life. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I get to do it, man. I pick and choose what I get to do. Well, you got a new movie out, out right now. What's the name of that new movie you were telling me? No, about? it's not out yet. Well, it's coming. 90 Minutes of the Fever is coming out. Imperial Dreams is coming out. Mm-hmm. Uh, Kalista House, the one I wrote, produced, and directed, that'll be out shortly. Mm-hmm. You know? Uh, but yeah, man. That's you know. I'm just I'm just doing my thing, man. You know, King. Come well, on. We man. gonna turn up in here. I wanna before we turn up. Everybody got their drinks. Put your drinks in. Hey. Bless it to all the mothers in the building. Mothers. <laughs> Glenn mother's just day, gonna mom. straight turn up. I'm telling you, man. You, <laughs> you can't gangsta. say turn up and then like say put your drink up. <laughs> <laughs> say put your drink up then turn up. Or, but we I, turn up in here every week. We do. Don't we, we do don't? every week. But I gotta say this. You been saying, Bobby. Oh, Johnson, and that's from the role you did in South Central. And yes, that's what sir. I teach him. And I just want to make sure, in case you guys don't recognize this very handsome man who has his hat over his face. Okay. He has been in so many movies. He was in Speed. He was in Minister of Society. Keanu Reeves. He was in. He did South Central. Talk about me. He, has about the, he was in Showgirls. <laughs> Showgirls was considered one of the worst movies in the world, but everyone loved your part. So nah, but he played with that? Michelle Pfeiffer. That's oh, what I'm yeah. talking about. Yeah. Did you, get the, then you get the banger out? No, 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 no. How about that? You don't want to mess up the career. Go ahead with that. You we don't, don't want to talk about Michelle that. Michelle Pfeiffer. No, I thought it was a movie you did. I no, wasn't no. sure. And, and, you know, showgirls, you know, we was close to that. But, you know, normally we don't, uh, yeah, we don't we don't bang out the white girl. Okay, but you were in Menace in Society also. Yes, I was. And I, I loved you in that. I think it's little baby All right, Tony, we're going to go into this clip on jail. Glenn Plummer. Oh, we're so going to the check whole this clip. out. What do you hang out with this loser for? You want to wind up like him? You do, don't you? No. What's your heart beating for? I'm scared, man. Thought you were running a marathon. Got it. Stand up. See your tattoos. Oh man, Holmes, it's fucking Gibraltar. Look at the red. This kid's a blood. You see? What? What? Is this? Go. Cancel Christmas. You're dead. No parole or probation? No. Well, got you on my file now. 
All it takes is a spark. How do you think the world will end? Will it be consumed by fire of divine origin, as foretold in Revelations? Or will it be from a nuclear winter of man's creation, born out of racism and greed? If the world's ending today, would you be out in the streets, rioting? Or would you be at home with your family, in the only safe place you know? How long could you hold out? How long could you defend against the dangers outside? What if the real enemy was within the human heart? Your own heart. If you knew the end of the world was today, what secrets would you tell? If you knew the end of the world was here, And that's the movie look that's coming at that. out now. That, really no, that one's in post production right now. It's still being edited and cut, and you know we working on a distribution deal. It's that's gonna be nice. And you wrote that? Nah, I didn't write that. No, I started that. That's oh, all you me. Just started it. Yes, sir. Does your shirt come off at any point? Oh, Lord. <sighs> just curious because you know, I you, 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 no, you, my shirt come on, does you've not been come in this off. industry for years. You know, you gotta appeal to take all my shirt kinds off of people. No, I didn't take my shirt off. Okay, because you know, what if there's some women out there who want to know if you take your shirt I off? I took my shirt off. Hey, look here, Tony's still man. Man playing you, man. Exactly. When, when, when do we expect to see that movie come out, though, Glenn? You know what? I'll give it another six months, and then there should be talk about a, a distribution date. You know, everybody will find out. But that's one I start in. I'm okay. In like, I'm in like 90% of the, every frame, so y'all watch that one. Well, you have oh, so, time. But hold on, Tony. Hold on, Tony, 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 Ronnie. We're going to get back to you on the Rainbow Report. You're killing me right now. I'm going to kill you. you literally kill you. I'm about to literally kill you. Literally kill you. <laughs> We're going to get back to you, Tony. <laughs> now, look here. Well, this is all about Glenn Plummer. Glenn Plummer, let's go back in time. Now, you've been doing, you've been in the business for how many years? 27? 27 wow. years. That's a long time. What could you tell the people that's trying to do what you're doing, like myself and Tony, what's the oh, Tony's ups and doing downs? It, Tony's doing it. Ups and downs of doing the uh, entertainment build business as so far as film. Man, look, don't give me the line. If you, if you don't love it, <laughs> All right, right. don't do it. That's the advice I give anybody. But if you have to do it, then by all means, put your both feet forward, step into it wholeheartedly, and just know that if it's not yours, it wasn't meant for you. Yours will come. And we've seen you, uh, that is the best we've seen advice you I've doing your thing for a minute, and then you disappeared for a minute. You know, you came back, you had your flash, and then you disappeared for a minute. What what what's the transit? What are the transitions that you go through so far as being an actor? Like you might have a couple of hot two years, and then well, the transitions often comes. I mean, you know what? See, you you have to understand. I'm just trying to keep it I real mean, for yeah, actors okay, so out there, keep so they can know. You know, You're a legend. All right, so hey. you know what? There comes a time when they're not going to want to pay you. Right How about that. Dad? Now we talking. And That's the you know, if you say no, then you're not going to work. So, you know, at some point, you know, you're either going to give up on your integrity, you know what I'm saying, or let them know that, you know, you're not going to work for pennies. You know what gotcha. I mean? You, you know, you just, it's what you do. What I did, I, I started doing independent films. That's what I did. If you check my IMDb page, when everybody thought I had disappeared, I got about 15 independent movies. But the pay that. can't be the same as it is. It's not book. the same, but you but know what? But your integrity means more the, than you. Well, the thing is, man, you a normal man might make fifty dollars an hour, right? You mm -hmm. know, on a, on a good day, mm -hmm. fifty dollars an hour on a good mm -hmm. day. You know, well, when I'm working in Hollywood and it's a studio film, I probably make, you know, three hundred. Right. Five hundred. Yeah. You know what I mean? On some real. And then but if you just go do independent films, you still make it more than fifty dollars an hour. Exactly. I agree. So it's not so bad if you look at it from a normal state of you know, a normal place 
in, in, you know, in the job world. But if you look at it, it's not movie money. But you're Glenn Plummer. I mean, even still, though you're not, um, but you people know your face. You know, so, I mean, can you give that same advice to someone who's starting out just doing independent look, films? I mean, man, and the thing is... You still demand a certain amount of... Work breeds work. Mm -hmm. If you're working... Stay working. That's what James Earl Jones told me. I asked James Earl Jones, what advice can you give me? Uh, shout out to our lovely waitress who's serving us as we eat. <laughs> I'm going to get me a chicken wing. He said, never turn, never turn down <laughs> job. Take something Glenn Never turn down chicken. <laughs> never turn down chi your chicken. Never turn down chicken. I, I fried some chicken earlier today. We get turned up in here. We can eat so and drink and everything. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> but thank you, thank you for that advice. Right. I agree. What's going on with the family? I know you got a family, so you've been in the business for well, a while. You've been rocking you know, out, doing I've what been you doing do. my thing. I got married. I had two wonderful kids. My son is 10. My daughter is 14. And how did that work out for you? I'm divorced now. Oh, uh, no. That was my final. Man. Oh, you <laughs> poor baby. That was final June 14th Sweetie, last I year. Need blue cheese dressing. Um, my my yes. ex-wife and I are still really good friends. Thank you. you. Know? Say that again. Say that again. Uh, Sorry. We hang out. You know, they gave us dates and times and, you know, money situations. Horrible. You know, and we just we kept it. Up. Of course, you know, and we just kept it real. You know what I mean? And you did that for the sake of the kids, right? Yeah, it don't matter whose day it is. <laughs> Wherever the kids want to be, that's where they are. I wish you could say that one more time, King gonna kill me, because I want all the fathers and mothers out there who divorce to know that you don't have to be enemies with your ex, and even if you don't like them, you can, I'm sorry, King, I'm taking over one minute, say it again. I'm <laughs> sorry. the kids you want good. to I mean, be, chicken, right? that's where they are. <laughs> you gotta know when to get your All right, that's the bottom and line. And DJ Rock said the same thing. That's the real, you know, I mean, man, for all intents and purposes, you know what it is? It's like, I'm under the influence of you know, you can't take it with you. Right. You and there's nothing you can do. The only legacy you can leave on this earth is the things you teach your children. And, and your children. And making sure everybody you run into in life understands who you are and what you're about. Oh, my God. If you, you are such a wonderful person. If you're telling lies when you meet people, <laughs> then you're going to get lies back. Give us give us a um, one super-duper <laughs> experience that you experienced. Like you've been around everybody. You know everybody. what I'm saying, Michelle Pfeiffer. You know what, Keanu man? Reed, I, I can't do that, dude. Because you, you know, when, when I'm, a, I'm, I'm from Tell the yourself. old school. I grew up, you know, watching certain people on TV, and one of the best experiences I ever had. Y'all might hate me for this. Is I was in Philadelphia filming a movie called Up Close and Personal, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and I was walking underneath the freeway because they had parked our trailers underneath the freeway. And then I heard somebody say, "Glenn, go long," and I turned around, and Robert Redford had a football in his hand. <laughs> <laughs> and we just started throwing football. You know what I'm saying? We just started tossing the football. Now, from you know, most people, you know, Robert Redford ain't. But I grew up watching that man. You know what I'm saying? We all had our idols, you know. And, I mean, if I could have did it with James Earl Jones or, you know, some of them other cats, man, it would have been great, too. But it wasn't. It was man, Robert it, Redford. Man, that's all cute. And I like your little pretty cute story. <laughs> Let's get down to the dirt. This is internet radio. You understand me? Whose back have you broken? Let's talk about some of these female celebrities. You do know what you are right now. That's when you tell the truth. For the record, I want you to know there is someone's back you can break anytime you want to. My worst man would have to Got him. My worst man would have to just get over that one. Tell him one time you can color me bad, but you can't sex me up. Come on, come on, Glenn. Give up some of the gossip, man. Which oh, one man. of the female celebrity stars you've been with? I don't want to know. Just, I don't want to know. Or that you wanted if you were trying to act all cute. Man. <laughs> Talk to me. I, the Yellow I, Power Ranger. You know what I'm saying? I, can't, I can't, dude, because, you know. You can't look, release that, it? Well, the thing is, is that, you know, like. Ain't no thoughts out there. I got, I got, uh, I got, uh, you know. Uh -uh. I got married. and But before that, dude, I, I really wasn't, you know, I. I, I can't lie, I like dirty bitches, dude. I ain't even gonna trip. <laughs> hey. I ain't even gonna. Oh, that's OG. Bobby I ain't Johnson. even gonna. You know what I'm saying? I, cause I, you know, I was no good, dude. So I didn't want to be around no respectable women. I'm you not respectable I mean? in no way, shape, or form. Tony, you gonna quit sex I, I, playing? I my guest. Oh, oh, you sorry. are so nasty. Oh, not nasty. I need to be around, you know, <laughs> the type of women that would like me for who I was, and not try to change me. You know. Yeah, oh, you, you, the fact that you like to smack people around and come home later I, I didn't. I didn't say that. Oh, because I'm cool with that. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I'm not violent. 
Bruh. Oh, you ain't violent? Oh, no longer. I don't want you. I like I need a I like a I need a violent man. Oh no. I'm not. I'm gonna hurt DJ Rock if he does that oh no one more time. Oh no. Hey, well, look here, y'all. We are officially in the building. This is the yeah, uh, man. the Network Comedy Radio Show. I'm your host, King Kedar, with my special guest, Glenn Plummer. Glenn we have Plummer. more to come. I'm and in we the have, house. Uh, we are going to do the Rainbow Report with Tony Tony Davis. He is most definitely always in the building. Why you keep saying Rainbow Sex. Report? That's my yeah, yeah, that's that's the, the Rainbow, Rainbow Report. Reporter, right? Yeah. That's savvy. Yes, sir. <laughs> so we will be back in about five minutes. All right. I right. holler. Y'all thank check you, this thank out. Thank you, thank Jesus. This is King Kedar, the Network Comedy Radio Show. He say... Don't go soft on me, man. Now, I know you got a kid and all, but you still do, ain't you? It's a story of loyalty divided between violence and love. Between death. Bobby, you didn't. And life. Look, you give me some names. Give them to me right now and I'll cut you a soft deal. boy. Yeah. How old? Well, he's three in that picture. Well, he's ten. So where were you? The boy's daddy. I was in here. That man is in prison, a large in prison, and his kids suffer. You said it was my fault he got shot? brothers and we got to be there for our children go find your boy save his life it takes my life i'll do it i am somebody i may be poor but i am somebody respect me Did you guys know jimmy justin protect me Right here, cuz. Never neglect me. But it counts his mama now and deuces his daddy. Let go now! I am somebody. Nobody will save us for us but us. All I want is my boy. I'm your daddy, Jimmy. South Central. Something's got to change. They've always lived among us, hiding in the shadows. They now walk freely among us, living seemingly normal lives. Normal except for one thing. The thirst for human blood. It's been a homicide at City Studios. And I'm gonna need Thorpe for you to go on the cover on this one. Word on the set is everyone hated Elizabeth Thornbridge. About 10 different people that would have gladly paid to see her dead. Starlet is dead. And you and that Tyrese character were the last ones to see her, so I got some answers.
Audi, Audi, uh, Audi, Audi, Audi. We back in the building. Audi, Audi, Audi. Did you turn my camera? Audi, Audi. You you turn. Audi, Bobby Johnson. Yeah, you turn. We back. It's official, y'all. This is the network comedy radio show. Okay, he got everybody. We back in the building. That's Y'all Glenn said, Plummer hold in up. the background talking Put over that camera right back. now. Put that you know clip. Yo, look, you know what? From now on, we're going to have Glenn come up here. We're going to just have him do a phone call because he's trying to take over the show. No, you just mad because he like your friend and not you. How you I'm love not, that? Trust me, we don't have no jealousy. <laughs> you forgot that right OG here. Bobby no Johnson. No, 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 this is what, 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 if, right what if they said yes. on the radio, OG Bobby Johnson, OG Bobby, <laughs> and then you be like, yeah, yeah boy, no. throw it up, throw it up. I don't have to worry about Look that. Look here, Glenn, on, Glenn, man. we just showed a couple of your uh, projects. We got the Teeth and Blood that's officially out with myself and Yeah, that yeah, that's the thing mm-hmm. we Glenn did. Doing we like that. Thing. And uh, you got a you got a movie that you was telling me about uh, like something about Bubba Shrimp. Uncle, uncle, <laughs> uncle. <laughs> uncle. I was there not, uncle. Shrimp. not Michael T. Yeah, uh, 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 Bubba, Bubba Shrimp. No, it was uh, Uncle Shrimp. See, I'm uncle telling you, Tell there us about are certain uncle parts shrimp. you get in your life that mean that are significant to you. See, Michael T. Made Bubba Shrimp. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. He made he made that famous. Now I'm about to make Uncle Shrimp famous. Uncle Shrimp. You see uncle what I'm saying? Shrimp. That's what I'm talking about. And there's no reference to your height at all, is it? Mm. Wow. No. That, Oh, continue. <laughs> Why do we have oh, to no. I'm just messing with you. Don't make I me apologize. read you. No. Don't, oh, shoot. He no. did that too good. No, but, but, Glenn, tell us about what's okay, going on with so, the Okay, so uh, we did this movie called Imperial Dreams, mm-hmm. all about this brother named Ye Ye. Uh, John Boyega mm-hmm. starred in it. He's mm-hmm. he's going to be in the new Star Wars. I have to say that because if I mention the movie, I got to mention John Boyega. Right. Oh, yeah. I got to mention Ro Timmy because he was third on the call Get sheet. And he was two <laughs> on the call sheet. I was number three on the call sheet, and I played Uncle Shrimp, the uncle, to John Boyega. And the movie is all about uh, this young man trying to, uh, you know, get his life together, growing up in the projects with a kid and his uncle just being the nemesis in his life. And when it come out, y'all just, you know, just remember I said, watch the movie. What I'm in is it. your formula for picking the projects, projects that are offered to you? Because I have a reputation of being a bit of a diva. Okay, I don't know where uh, from. does your character you die think? in the movie? <laughs> <laughs> then it's a good movie. <laughs> no. You remember that? Oh, car no. Wash? Remember the car wash? Remember that? <laughs> uh, no, it wasn't car wash. What was it? It was, um, oh, was that Robert Townsend? Robert Townsend. Oh, yeah. Does yeah, your yeah, character yeah, die yeah, in yeah. the script? By heartbeat. That's for you, Robert, because uh, you're still one of my main uh, men. Sorry about Hollywood that. Shuffle. Hollywood Shuffle. Hollywood Shuffle. Yes, sir. Right. Love Robert Can you Townsend. Tell me something that was offered to you that you turned down that you now look back and said, oh, shit, what was I thinking? Oz. Oh, Oz, how about that? They wanted oh, me to Oz, be the dude in the wheelchair. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh that really? was Harold. Harold Reed. 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 Harold on my own mm, mm, yeah, hard yeah, yeah. back then dude yeah, I was like yeah. I don't want to be the only you know non-viral male in this prison yeah, I'm in a wheelchair yeah, that would have been hot though everybody now look now mm. that you think about it wow. yeah. oh wow. my oh, god oh. just right. you know they came to me with that man and I was like no I'm not doing it well it didn't hurt well, your think career about that, well, Tony. You know, well think um, about that Glenn Plummer what we gonna do real quick cause Tony most definitely runs his mouth too much and he don't get what we doing here so we gonna huh? show him how we do it here <laughs> oh, we're gonna go Going to Tony, the Tony Davis, the Rainbow Report right Please now, post my where picture. he can run his mouth, but you for know free. Because he post brought this. Y'all put your he, hands he together for Tony you know Davis, like the hands. Rainbow Report. Y'all sorry. give him love. Did you hear? He said, "Put your hands together." Like. Thank you. There it is. Thank you too. Taking okay. my job. Okay. No, no. <laughs> Tony Davis. Hello, hello. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Man, just you Davis. and her, Tony. Um, I want to start by showing my clip for the wonderful film that I am the executive producer of. It's called As Evil Does, starring Bill Cobbs and Doria Missick. In other words, I wrote the check we could afford to. Play Bill it. Cobb? Let me see. I want to see this. Oh, yeah. Good afternoon, sir. I'm about to talk to you for a bit. I'm afraid of no man. If my right hand offends, cut it off. <laughs> now, tell me. Where do you think you're going? 911. 
one, what is your emergency? If you died tonight, where do you think your soul would go? Ah! Evil is as evil does. The movie. I like that. Okay, now I have a reputation of being a bit arrogant, so I'm not going to disappoint you all. <laughs> but that's why I you am, got killed. Sir. <laughs> I am the executive producer, which means I pretty much finance the project. Shout out to Yolanda Bugs, who directed and wrote it. She came to me and said, Tony, I need a really a large amount of money. I ain't trying to break how much. And she's already gone $5,000 past the budget. Once she told me she had Bill Cobbs and Dorian Mystic on it, that was all I needed. And in case you didn't notice, that was my dead body because I am a cheapskate. Um, contrary to what people may think. <laughs> and when the person supposed to play the dead body didn't show up, and I realized they were getting paid $500, well, I ain't got to tell you what happened. <laughs> and uh, I was like, uh, $500 what we're saving? Yeah. Feel free to cut my hand and kill my ass. And I'm sure my parents many a times wanted to cut my hand <laughs> and kill my ass. But it's not about me. I want to talk about my special guest. This special guest is more than just an oh, actress. This special guest is more than just one of my best friends. My best friend in L.A. I always give her that title. She's more than just a best-selling authoress. This is a girl who I've known since 1998 when I first moved to L.A. who always have my back. Now, we've had our struggles, but we've always gone through it. I want you all to put your hands together for my special guest, my friend, authoress, Raynell Saunders. <laughs> Raynell, tell us something Thank about you. you other than the fact that you're my best friend, which wow. is your favorite thing. I know. Well, I think that's all that needs to be said. And then from that point on, I'm just the shit. <laughs> but, no, I, um, I'm an actress, writer. I've done a little directing and producing and plan to do a lot more. Um, next time I have something, I'll be coming to you for some money. <laughs> obviously, that's your thing. Now. It <laughs> is my thing you want now. everybody to know you got the money, so I'm coming yeah. to you. But Take we're here today to talk about Poppy's Place. But before we go into Poppy's Place, i got to talk about your okay. credits as an actress, though. Because okay. I know you as an actress, but I think, I didn't you play a hooker or something with Al Pacino? Weren't you a oh. hooker? A dead hooker. A dead hooker. Okay, sorry. Uh, in heat. But that's like people's favorite movie. He and I was in a scene with Al Pacino. Now, quickly, I'll tell you. Okay, so every time we did a shot, right? right, right. I'm dead. So they got the, the carp, tarp over my face, blah, 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 blah. Al Pacino is so cool. One time between takes, he's like, hold up. And they stop. He pulled the tarp off and he said, hey, I'm Al. I just thought there that was go. cool. And you didn't slip him no tongue? Wow. Please, Tony. It's Al Pacino. But anyway, <laughs> that, and look at, wait a minute, and actually what I started out with, that was an upgrade to do the dead body. So. <laughs> you were also Janet <laughs> Jackson's bridesmaid. And, um, I was Janet Jackson standing in uh, The Nutty Professor, The Clumps. Oh, okay. nice. The Nutty Professor, yeah. too. But I did get my little, you know, cameo. cameo shot. Nice. Yeah, which was cool. Nice. So, And I still get checks. So it's nice. Praise the Lord for that. I know. Now, um, can you tell me about your latest venture, which is Poppy's Place? Okay, well, not necessarily the latest one, but... A pretty big one, because writing a book is, is a, a definite effort. And make sure you give That's them the front so. and the back of the book. Okay, so this is Poppy's Place. <laughs> front. Tony, you're so nasty. I know. And the back. That's one of my Tony's old headshots. One of my old headshots. And listen. How do you get nasty out of the front and the back of the book? <laughs> the way he says it, it sounds nasty. But nasty Poppy's Place, you can find it on Amazon. Also, www.poppysplacethenovel.com. Can you give us a brief synopsis of what the Yeah, so about. this is like six hot chicks. Hey. Okay, we'll start there. Um, <laughs> who come together as friends um, at a club every Saturday night. That's their thing. And they talk about all this stuff that goes on in their lives. We go back two generations in each of their lives. So we see where they came from and why they are the way that they are. Now, so there's I heard a rumor that the names have been changed to, to protect, protect the, the ones guilty. who promote. Yeah, yeah I'm going. Well, that's, that's to just protect the ones who actually have a hit radio show. Is that true? There that's what I'm going. I'm there going. are so a lot of there, guilty Is there people. some saucy stuff in this book? Oh, there, actually, there was a point when I was writing when I thought that it was an erotic. But I said, am I writing erotic? And then I looked it up and found out you have to have sex like every 20 pages to qualify. Oh, and I'm okay. like, yeah, so what, you got sex every 25 pages? Yeah, yeah. something like that. So, <laughs> okay, I've up. been told that it, it's very hot. Glenn is liking you a little too much. I'm about to wrap you okay, up in a moment. All, but I mean, you know, no, you know, I got to say okay, this, though. What else can can I say? you tell everybody how they can find you? Uh, you already told us how you can find you. I have book. Poppy's Place the Novel on Facebook, um, Raynell Saunders on Twitter, and Poppy's Place the Novel.com. And what is your next thing that you're working on? Um, actually, uh, I've written several scripts, so I'm actually trying to make a movie out of one of them. 
and oh, I'm actively uh, pursuing producers. So. Would you do a sex scene with Glenn Plummer? Oh, <laughs> I would pay for that. Right now? <laughs> I would watch it. Yeah. yeah. She said right now. <laughs> and see, you know, that shows the kind of pervert I am because I can't get you. I don't mind watching you doing someone else. She said right now. I just thought, right I'd, let now? You, I just thought I'd let DJ Rock right and now. King know that. Let me call my agent first. <laughs> Thank you so much. Exactly. We thank you. Thank you so much. Thank and you, Tony, for having me. I love you so much. You're my best friend in L.A. I must be because I took your call at 11:38. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all give it up for Mr. Tony in the building. You know and that was the that was the Tony Davis Rainbow Report. You understand me? Brought to you by the this Network Comedy of- Show here. Actually, we have the uh, comedy <laughs> show that's going on June the fifth at the Comedy oh, Union. Yeah, I'm 5047 Pico Boulevard, 90019. It's June the 5th. Showtime is at 8 p.m. Come out. We're going to have an excellent show. We have uh, turn off that goddamn music in the background. That was part of the uh, Give me back some OG Bobby Johnson. Ain't no raining men up in my building. You understand me? Raining some biatch. You understand me? I wish you would say that Give me again. some pimping. Show them what we talk about. Rock. But Rock was like in the back feeling that joint. Yeah. The producer was like, hi. Hi. Uh, his head got tucked up in there. I hate when dudes walk like this though. When they when they cover their arm, Tony don't do that. And then they got that like swivel walk. You know what I'm saying? And another thing that I hate before I get back in the show is like when you hanging out with your friends and it's like four or five dudes walking through a pack club, don't ever grab my lower back, my knees. Out. Did you just grab the lower of my back? I'll be like, yo, boo. So I'll be like, I'm out of here. She'd be like, what's wrong? What's wrong? Dude, grab the lower of my back, son. Never grab the lower of my back. That's not right. Son. Is that any dude or can I get away with that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me and, me and Rock, we at the we at the fight party. And Rock, I guess Rock was feeling kind of frisky nah, hanging around. No, hanging around Tony he too much. Looking into Tony's Tony. eyes no, all the time. Because he was coming to my fight party. He came to yours and he knows I'm hurt about that. Well, he didn't know what to expect. He started escorting you through the party. Because <laughs> well, yeah. no. you had grabbed his lower back earlier no, that day. He and I. To take it. Yes, I was man. hurt, and my fight party was so much better. No, than our right fight now. party was off the chain. Right now, it was, was free at my food. fight party. Right now, who fight party was would have been the best? Because well, I had hey, you didn't even know about our fight body, so how can you compare? I know they ain't got money like I got. I had projector oh, in the living does. room and in the back and in the and in the back. Well, that's true. What was cool? It was outside too. They had and, a big screen on the garage. Emphasis floor. on the words. Okay, <laughs> well we had a little regular forty inch screen TV. He said little understand regular. me, little regular little with regular, weed. Man. Weed, chicken, <laughs> weed, chicken yeah. fingers, we turned up, tequila, 1800, we had, we we had fried fish, okay, we had well, catfish, we, and, and DJ yeah. Rock was running the house like it was his, he was scared, oh, he was opening the doors, fixing up, changing wires like he was at the studio, and I was like, Rock, what are you doing, Regular oh, I got you, don't even worry about that, then he took the, 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 uh, <laughs> the guy that owned the house, girl, in the back, I don't know what happened at that. DJ Rock is a beast. OG, OG, DJ Rock. You know OG, OG, DJ Rock. Rock. He's still alive. OG, DJ Rock. He didn't know he was gone. <laughs> hey, he wasn't even in our house. Hey, you, right, you know what? Can we talk about that damn fight? Because that fight was. What was everyone's opinion on that fight? That, that hey, fight was fake, second, though. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I'm going to need my special guest to shut the fuck up. Damn. Damn. Sorry. Couldn't find another way to say it. Okay. Um, Damn. What did you think Tony about. Going I'm sorry. Going. <laughs> what you did you straight? You straight Mad Max. I'm sorry, way. guys. We have a liquor. Told her friend to shut the f up. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I I mean that nicely. But what did you think about that fight, though, King? I thought it was some bull. I, I, what, what tickled me to death about the fight is that it was strategic the way that they. It seemed like you get time to you can count the amount of hits that they hit each other. Then at the end, Pacquiao sitting up there smiling for what? What are you smiling for? Because you know you about to take a hundred million home. I be smiling. Why is too. why <laughs> is Mayweather smiling? He about to take two million home. Two hundred million. If you look at all the old fa- fights on the internet. Like uh, uh, Sugar Ray, uh, May, uh, what's his name, Hagler? Mm-hmm. They fought like warriors, son. Yeah. That fight we seen, both of them went home healthy and secure. You know what I'm saying? Neither one of them was hurt, was it? 
I don't I I don't think no one got hurt. Nobody got hurt, but they got hundreds of me. I want to be a fighter now. Me, oh, it's official. Telling? Me and Glenn Plummer is setting up a fight. <laughs> it's it's I'm putting it's hands theory. on this man. It's, <laughs> it's, it's official. You it's official. Don't it's you official. ever talk about my mama <laughs> like that. Right? It's official. And considering I'm known in Hollywood more for my fighting than I am for my performing. All right, me and Glenn Plummer fighting you know and saying? you and DJ Rock is you fighting. You know what I'm saying? Because I think, <laughs> shoot, they could have paid me $5 million and I would have gave them a show that they would have went into the next millennium to brag about. They could have gave me 500000 I'd have put hands on your guests. <laughs> I'd have put hands on your guests in a good way. You know what I'm saying? And I'd have whipped your ass in a bad way. So, you know, <laughs> 500000 Let me tell you about Tony Davis. See, you always got to get Tony something special. Tony Davis does not play when it comes to his female friends, his sisters, or his, when I do have daughters, daughters or his mama, you put your hands on night, my fight, female night. friends, that's just ass. Are you die. ready, ready to get it up? <laughs> night, die, night, night, I'm here night. to accommodate you. It's no problem. Hey, I want to talk real quick before we get out of here because we the show is about to cut down to the end. A couple things I want to talk about. I want to talk about love and hip-hop, but before I talk about that, I want to talk about, did any of y'all see when the cop, you know, we talked about the last week's show was talking about what's going on in Baltimore. And I give love up to everybody in Baltimore. D.C. is my home city. That's where I was born, raised in Detroit. And uh, I see all these cops. I'm saying, what are they trying to say to us that if they keep on showing all these videos of people getting hit, beat up, shot, uh, some man, some cop just kicked a black man in his face and kicked his yellow hat off his head. You know what I'm saying? Broke are they job. are they doing this to make us do something? Is it fight night? Is I it late so. night? I think you know what so. I'm saying? What y'all feel so. about that real quick in your short words? Glenn, what well, you say? Man, listen. All y'all out there thinking about doing something stupid because of the stuff they hyping up on TV, just take a deep breath. How about that? And realize that something else is going on. Mm -hmm. Try to figure that out first before you Trickery. start rioting and, you know, going crazy. Because the thing is, it's like uh, Andre, what was that dude's name? Okay. Andre 2000 said, mm -hmm. he said, they got some shit that'll oh, do. Okay. blow your back out from where okay. they at. Just remember that. You know what I'm saying? It's That's not real about talk. going crazy because you got to realize they could be setting you up for something. I think they are setting us up oh, for something. Are. Matter of fact, let's go to the video right now. I, I want to view that I, video. I just don't want the brothers to lose their mind, man. You might have to see in this. Been fired. Now at six, he's talking about the Miami Beach cop in the light blue shirt right here who punched a handcuffed woman, leaving her with a swollen face and concussion. It's being called police abuse caught on the station's own camera. Tonight, that police officer has learned his punishment, and two people on the receiving end of his punches are livid. CBS 4's Gary Nelson has the story, all new at 6. Nah, he didn't put hands on her. He put good hands on her. <laughs> Why would you hit a woman like that in her face like that? He socked her in her face, and then he kicked her. He tried to kick her. Did he get did he No, he got the body. And, and, and then he looked at his little pad like, man, now I can't wait till I get Like it was on his bucket ass. list. Like, oh, hey, punched yeah. oh. I punched her. I punched her and kicked her. Okay, oh, that was. She barely. Now, she barely. Now, she now, and she was handcuffed. She and she was handcuffed. That. Because you know what? I ain't trying to brag, but he had the right one because had it been one of my sisters I mean they might not be right here right now but they would have gave him a run for his money I, and, I mean they would because she was Tony do be carrying, carrying she purses with guns she was handcuffed, handcuffed. She was handcuffed. Hey. and he got the right one he hit her while arms was locked up and she just did one of these had it been like, one of my sisters it would have been a whole commit. different and story she, she but you know I, I said this before and I'm going to wrap it up because King always says I talk too long this police brutality is not nothing new I want to know how fathers and mothers educate their children to deal with it because this is not nothing new. This is As I said, the way that you educate a child about that, everybody, every black family should have their own blacks law book in your home. A blacks law book shows you all the laws that you should know about our government about America, so therefore you can fight. You don't fight with your fish, you don't fight with now, a gun, you, you fight the way they fight. Black people have a law book. The book is called <laughs> The Black's Law. There you go. Okay. Book. Right. Okay. Get that Black's straight. Law. And is Write that how you deal with it? Because you have a child, and when this happens, when he gets older, he needs to know. Well, you know, I'm, I'm not an The pen is I'm, mightier than the sword. I'm not an advocate of violence at all. <laughs> so, you know, I don't, I don't, and I don't foresee police touching my children. Praise you know what I'm Lord. saying? Because... If they do, they're not gonna have my kids to deal with. They're gonna Praise have the Lord. To deal with. I, I'm sorry, Lord. Thing that I, I, I will not tolerate. It's yeah, I'm not like, all right. Well, look at here. We gonna jump on something different because we don't want the people to go home and feel like they yeah. won't go out and yeah, kill yeah, three yeah. white people. You know what I'm saying? 
man. You know what I'm saying? No, That's not necessary. Don't go home killing white people. I want to talk I'm about. You, I want to talk child, about Tony. I want to talk about love and hip hop. Mm -hmm. Either the New York or the Atlanta. Now, this is the one thing that kills me about these television shows. What our people is like? They yell and dog each other. You talking about that fight. reality show? Yeah, oh <laughs> that's my, my joy. You that... watch it? Yeah. No, I don't. <laughs> Which one? You ain't never seen neither one of them. I never really watched it. No, it's funny. It's funny. Like the one in Atlanta. Uh, scrappy uh, young jock he's smashing out two girls that look identical right. they don't even got nice faces for right. real I don't care what you say you girls you don't have nice faces right. you have beautiful bodies and jock is using one of them he had one of them he dating one but he used to be with the other one got a baby with right, him right, right, now, right. He, the other one make him come over the house and trick and put a camera up in the little corner a little right. camera like we got on her and she pulling out strawberries with chocolate on it he putting chocolate on her toes and sucking the toes. Nice. Then she take it to the other chick, <laughs> the ugly face chick. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right, Both right, of them right. like got mad faces, but it's all good. And she's showing good. him yeah, sucking yeah. toes? Oh, yes, sir. So she's trying girl, to set the one oh, because she want her man back to come back home and take the key. Wow. Well, what does that say about the women? I think that's really sad. I'm an openly flamboyant gay male. I'm the femme, and I have a lot of female friends, and it's really sad how I see it, and I've never been that way even though I flirt. I know you guys see me flirt, but I can count on two hands with Fingers left over at 41, the amount of guys I've been with. You know what? And with that uh, no, nobody want to hear about that. I think there it's just really sad. Look, that, look at that talk. I think there it's really go. sad. <laughs> there it go. When women, I'm not watching Come that on, shit. Man. I think it's really sad when women and gay, <laughs> gay queens do not value their body to think that they cannot. But you whatever. know, you know that's what though? It's not, really it's not, but that's not that only that's Bobby not Walker only in uh, reality TV and things like that, man. It's not, you know, it's that's not, in real life. I know, but I'm just saying this. The thing is, is that you look at okay. that situation, but then you, a, a similar situation is there's a show on the air called Scandal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the black woman, like that's Scandal. right. Yeah, yeah. Everybody well, likes that show. You know what I'm saying? by the president. Smashed by the president, by the CIA, by all white men. And that is sad. Smashed out, but look at Brian White did smash her last week. And she's the king well, queen me any day of, the of scandals, right? Oh, yes, sir. And that's the number one show on the air. Mm -hmm. But them same women that are out there watching that show won't go buy Alicia Keys' new album. How you love that? How you love oh, that? come on now. Yes. But look oh, at this man. one. Look at this one. The Kardashians is on TV. Barbara Walters have a, had a special on Facebook where she blew, she had from the mama down to the baby girl. And Barbara Walters said, I don't get it. You girls have no talent. You can't sing, you can't <laughs> dance, dance, you can't, can't even rap. No, you but can't they do can nothing. Suck a hell of a dick. You damn sick. You, you see, damn skinny. Didn't you see Kim Kim Kardashian and Ray J's porno? That's how I got started. Uh, the the you, best the best celebrity porno I've ever seen. No, but you gotta understand the Kardashians <laughs> got their name and people don't remember the Kardashians got their name from their father. Their father was the lawyer for OJ. Mm -hmm. That's how they got their first start. Yeah, yeah. Then when their daddy passed away, their mama mm -hmm. said, they Okay, turned, we gotta get this money. They uh turned, Kim going uh, on out here smashing. Shout out Ray J. Mm -hmm. You understand? We we gonna get the law back him. rolling. Now, if I was if I was the man in that position, I would step in that saying I would smash out the whole family. <laughs> and if if, if 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 the daddy wants some too, you know Bruce Jenner, <laughs> you know with a little cute self. <laughs> He can get it too, you know what I'm saying? Like the nine volt battery. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> that one of the new jokey jokes. Hey, look here. This is King Keto. This is, has been the, the Saturday. We come on each and every Saturday on West Coast time is 4.30. East Coast time it is 7.30 p.m. So y'all keep on checking in on us. We do this every week. Next week, we got the whole cast. Well, some of the cast. I ain't going to sit up here and stretch it so y'all can come in and look in and don't see all of them. But we got most of the cast of Chocolate, Chocolate City, City, which King Kadar is in. Yes, sir. And a couple of nice. movies that I'm in, you know, with Jean-Claude, the director. Uh, Vivica Fox, uh, Who's a good Tyson mine? Beckford, uh, Ooh, I wish Carmen Electra, <laughs> Vivica Fox, D. Ray Davis, King Keita. It's just the list so, goes the on the more. So Darren Ernest Henson, Thomas, a good friend of mine Ernest is in that. Thomas is in that movie. It's going to be off the chain. Okay, also, do that next week. I'm sorry to cut you off. I just want to say well, happy then Mother's don't. Day. I'm doing it. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers oh, out there. Yeah, I take that. Especially my mother who's rested in heaven. Say name. I miss you. Happy happy Mother's Day. Ann Davis. I missed you so much because I don't get to you. Dolly Ann Davis. We love you. Love I love you. Rest in peace. And finally, to my three favorite mothers of all time, Kim Henderson Brown, Diamond L. Davis, my sister, and LaShawn Cave. They're not my mothers, but these are three perfect examples of great mothers. I I'm tell done. all them, I think that's a beautiful thing, but tell all them to kill themselves. But my sisters, <laughs> Angie, Rita, <laughs> Sheila, Margaret, my mama Peggy, Pooh, 
Pooh, oh, Shiny, Tay. Go ahead, boy. Andrea, my daughter, which just made me a oh, granddaddy. Daughter, yeah. yeah, she's Shout a, out to his daughter. Yeah, this is her grandma. first Mother's Day. You right. know what I'm saying? Happy Mother's Day. Day. I'm Malin, Lisa, oh, Linda. Oh, my aunt's sister, my aunt's sister, my aunt Pumpkin. They helped oh, raise me. Okay. Tony, kill yourself. Hey, this has been the Network Comedy <laughs> Radio Show. We want to give love up to Glenn Plummer in the building. Yeah. Glenn, shout it out. Woo. The I'm Rainbow good. Report, the and special guest star. saying night. Raynell Saunders. Raynell Saunders is in the building by her book. Good. I got five stars on Amazon. Hey. Hey, y'all hit me up on Twitter, Instagram. We going to turn up. It's going to get bigger and better, y'all. Yo, peace Woo. and love. Thank hey, you. And if you. And if here's one thing to grow on. If you're not feeling good about yourself, you ain't shit. Go kill yourself. Yo, peace out. Just kill you. Love you. Thank you. Ignore that. We love you. Oh, you motherfuckers. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm putting cases on all you bitches. Huh? You think you can do this shit? Jay! You think you can do this to me? You motherfuckers will be playing basketball in Pelican Bay when I get finished with you. Shoe program, nigga. 23 hour lockdown. I'm the man up in this piece. You'll never see the light of day. Who the fuck you think you fucking with? I'm the police. I run shit here. You just live here. Yeah, that's right. You better walk away. Go on, walk away, because I'm going to burn this motherfucker down. King Kong ain't got shit on me!